I think one of the things that stands out is that I panicked. What if your instinct to protect the things you value could be used against you? I'm Gilan, a mentalist, and if you've seen our previous video stunts, then you know we've been crafting a sixth sense for cybersecurity. Today's grand finale is our most daring and complex experiment yet. So here's my challenge to you. Watch closely, see if you can catch what's happening, and ask yourself, what would I do? Okay, I'm here with... Kachiso. Yvette. We're going to be asking you a couple of questions to get your thoughts on cybersecurity. While I'm interviewing Yvette, Yvette has given us her cell phone number. Our cybersecurity consultant is checking your number up against the database to see if it's been involved in any kind of data breach. What is your impression of the biggest uh, cybersecurity threat around in the world today? I think it would be like, isn't it email phishing? I think our passwords are way too simple. I know mine are, um, but I don't actually know the resources available to me as a consumer to find out what danger I'm in. Yeah, and a lot of people actually don't. Um, sorry, one second, this could be the consultant. <laughs> Hi. Okay, like what? what? What kind of activity? Have you tried to take out a contract within the last couple of weeks from Peter Maritzburg on your profile? Is Peter Maritzburg? Yeah. No. Peter Maritzburg. All right, so what do you advise that he does? I appreciate it. I'll let him know. The good news is that nothing has been taken out right now. The bad news is that someone has been trying. Uh, so the advice given is that um, you should contact your service provider as soon as possible. Um, what I'm thinking, if uh, Kachiso is fine with it, may be helpful to actually get customer care on the line and just to hear what questions they ask and what the process is. Would, how do you feel about that? Would you... no, that's fine. Are you okay? Yeah, yeah, sure. I'll just put them on speakerphone and then we'll, okay. Good morning, you've reached customer care. I'm calling to inquire about an apparent attempt um, to get a phone using my details in Peter Marysburg. Okay, uh, I'll be happy to help. Please note the call will be recorded for safety and security purposes as well as training. Can we have your consent for that? Sure, thanks, yeah. Yes, you do. I do have to ask you some security questions just to verify it's you. Can I please have your ID number? Am I speaking to Kachiso? Yes, that is me. And what type of bank do you use and the type of account? Um, I use... Okay, to verify that you are the owner, I am sending you a four-digit verification code uh, to your cell phone. Please, can you just read that out when you've got it? 1743. Okay, now that I've got your details, your name, ID number, security questions, and OTP, I think I'm going to get a nice cell phone on your account. Excuse me? You just gave me all your information and you got scammed. Thank you, Mark. Okay, that's a little stressful. Do you guys have something to calm me down? <laughs> yes, don't worry. He's on our team. This is called vishing. There are people who will have just enough information about you to be able to get in touch with you. They will apply some kind of urgency, some kind of fear of loss yeah. to get you to take action on something. Mm. And they seem totally legit. That was bad. Thanks a lot, man. Appreciate it. Huh? Thank you. I think I've got the wake up call I needed. I panicked. And when you panic, the first bit of help that's offered to you, you grab it like a lifeline when you're drowning. I felt like because he knew all my information, I could trust him. And in the process, you don't know what you're actually grabbing onto. But now, like, it just makes me, like, want to be more cautious moving forward. Um, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go and educate myself. <laughs>